Europe. Thank you. Thank you very much. Next speaker, Mrs. Gomez. Two minutes. Ever since he entered into power, he's not ceased to propagate lies, perverse, racist, and anti-European lies. Now, uh, along the lines as Seehofer and Kurz, there's this tirade against migrants and this kind of racist language against minorities is more than just illegal. It's criminal. He lies. Salvini is lying with his political nar narrative based on scaremongering and uh, stoking up hatred and discrimination. And he started off with migrants, and now his next target are Roma and Singri, Sinti. Al Salvini's supporters in this house are a shame on Europe. They want to scapegoat minorities, the most um, disadvantaged in society, and discrediting all of us. And we could all do much more to integrate Sinti and Roma minorities. They're human beings like all of us. They are a um, minority, the largest minority in Europe. And let's think back to what happened in Ukraine with uh, persecution. Look at the laws, discriminatory laws under Mussolini in the 1930s. We cannot backtrack in terms of the development of our societies and civilizations. This incitement to hatred and racism, I think he needs to be brought to justice for violating international laws. Yes, he was elected in Italy, but he's not protecting anyone in Italy. He is a threat to everyone and everything. Thank you. Next speaker, Mr. Panzeri, one minute and a half. Thank you, President. Uh, there are two um, aspects emerging from the debate. Anyone familiar with Italian history uh, knows uh, that discrimination against